All right, welcome to round one. Me v Peter. I'm on the play. He mugged a seven, correct? Or six. A six. Mugging a seven. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. draw an extra. I'm mugging yeah. a seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we're gonna start with a hollow fountain and pass. Mountain tap. Firebrand mm -hmm. face. Nineteen. That mono red. All set. Yep. Uh, we're gonna go secluded courtyard named Spirit, and I will pass. Lord, yeah. All right, mountain mm -hmm. tap two. Mm -hmm. Horde master. Is that one? Other goblins. Oh, goblins yeah. get one one. Yep. It or not? Yeah. Okay. And I'll swing for two. Two. Uh, 17. Yep, and I will pass. Alright, any turn. Flashing a rail chance. Whoa. Okay. Didn't see that one coming. All set? Yep. Alright. Uh, eight against plus one plus one. Give it Let's go with. Um. Nice. Uh, pass. Play this on blue. And I will move to combat. Okay. Swing. And swing for two. Got it. Pass. No. Play a mountain. Yep. Uh, so let's see. Is it with two twos? They get plus two, plus two. And then these pump each other. Mm. So two, four. It's in the tank. I'm trying to remember what. Uh, well, you got rattle spirits. chains. So. Trying to try to remember what spirits plays. It's like, huh? <laughs> All right. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Tap three, Hobgoblin Bandit Lord. Hobgoblin Bandit Lord. Is that resolve? No. Fair enough. I'm sure you yeah, do. make that thing a three three? No, I'm okay. <laughs> right now, thanks. Uh, and I will pass. Um, let's shock a green pool and play go to 15. If you don't play anything. <laughs> It's very obvious what you're move, playing move in your hand. <laughs> Attack you for four. Got, you got it. Fourteen. I will pass. Hmm. Mm. Let me think about that. Hmm. All right. Hobgoblin Bandit Lord. Hobgoblin Bandit Lord. That's so mean. Oh, yeah. Um, yep. Yeah, I'll swing for three. Um, I'm going to flash in a selfless spirit. Okay. Uh, Flash in a Supreme Phantom. Yep. And take three. Got it. Okay. All right. Here we go. Um, let's play Pathway on White. Okay. Move to combat. Yep. Uh, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Who plays magic for fun? Oh, well, I'm a dumbass. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. You probably uh, could have killed me, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, pass. All right, all right. <laughs> add, your, add your damage before, uh, before doing that. <sighs> well, you definitely have stuff to flash, so if I, I can't kill you this round, and I can't prevent myself from dying so <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm gonna play to my out but I am almost always certain. 
Squee, dubious monarch. What's that thing do? Oh, yeah, you can read it. That's a new one, right? Yeah. Two two hits yeah, attacks yeah. creator. Mord squiggles. I'll play that He can cast it. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why they just don't say he has escape, but that's what he has. Sure. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't. I mean, if I don't, I'm gonna die next turn, so you're going for it. So it's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep, That's and I get exactly. a. Oh, wait, you have a dude tag in, right? Yep. So that is a three, three. So, all right. We're gonna flash in a mausoleum wander. Yep. And then we'll also flash in an Imperial Eagle. Yep. Um. Wanderer blocks here. How much is that for? That's a 4-4? Four, four? So this would be a, yeah, I believe. Correct, right, one, uh, two, three, and then this one entry is 4-4, four, four. yep. All right. And then a block here. All right. And before damage, sack the selfless spirit. I mean, I mean, it's game, so we can just go yeah. next. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, I wasn't, like, I had the Imperial Eagle in hand. Yeah. That's what I say, like, Oh, boops. yeah, yeah, you would've just, <laughs> yeah, I just I should've just played it and did the damage, yeah. Urban game. So I said, add your, like, I thought, I thought it was farther away from killing you than I actually was. Yeah. That's what it was, so. All right. Counter damage before you attack. Yeah. The fun part of the goblins is that all of a sudden you're like, oh yeah, you're at like 15 health. Well, here's uh, oh, yeah. 15 damage of goblins. Oh yeah. And I'm like, I love this. Yeah, that snowballed real quickly. <laughs> hmm. It's definitely a lot harder to sideboard and paper. Yeah, yeah. It's like, well, yeah, take it out, put it in, take it out, put it in. You have all that to worry about. It's a lot easier, too, to see, like, what to take out when you can mm -hmm. see everything. Yeah. Gotta make sure I took <laughs> out the right things. Yeah, I gotta think about it. Yeah. yeah. Like, is this the right card? <laughs> Turns out you take out all the wards. <laughs> that's that's the right play. Yes. That's what I did. <laughs> It's like, here, help me sideboard you. Like, yeah, 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 take these out. These are no good. <laughs> nope. They don't do anything against me, right? They don't interact with my deck at all. Yeah. That's exactly it. Yeah. And that one does it? This one's sacrificed eight or four. Oh, so you're going to be able to count them. Oh, so you're one? Yeah. Unless, well, I, I can do it as many times as I want. Knocking stuff over? Yeah, I, Took out sure one extra card I didn't need to take well, out, so. so. Mm. Now, now comes the hard decision of what to put back in. Right. So anytime, obviously <laughs> it's always the worst feeling, too, when you're like, oh, what, is it this one? Is it this <laughs> what one? What am I doing? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and then there's that, there's that like, second thought, third thought, fourth thought. Yeah, I don't it was know. like, oh, I don't know, maybe. Have you played uh, 
Have you played Goblins online? A lot. Yeah. Yeah. It got me back into Mythic this season. Did it? So I was like, and Best of Three is just so much better than Best of One. It's so much better. Yeah. Well, it gives you options to play against. Like, you don't have to dilute your main deck to try to play against, you know, some obscure crap. Yeah, and I don't have to play against mono red aggro every game. <laughs> it's like, oh no, turn three Embercleave. Who could have saw that? Yeah, that was, that was always my, like, the thing that I hated about playing, mo like, playing best of ones. I like playing best of ones. But you guys, just a simple fact, like, gives you more time to like tweak things but you're literally only playing against decks that are built just for a best of one yeah not like an actual deck built for a best of three yeah and absent grease fang is a lot worse in best in of be one in best of three. Oh, gotcha it's like i'm just gonna sideboard in all my graveyard hate oh sure yeah you don't have that option when you're playing best of one yeah yeah i'm not gonna put graveyard hate in the main deck yeah. It's like, so, I mean, it's less niche now, but not enough people well, are running it. That's the problem, right? You have to dilute your main deck down so much and like just to beat that. Yeah. And then you just lose to the other decks that you should, like, almost auto win against. Yep. Yeah. I've played against enough Grease Fang now where if they have Parhelion in their graveyard and turn three, they drop down Grease Fang. I'm like, no, that's game. Well, they only <laughs> 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 don't even don't even just immediately. It's like the next one. <laughs> yep. It's like yeah. There's no there's no winning this anymore. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh the hard part about like playing mono red has always been the like do you play against the deck that makes bigger creatures and gains any. Any amount yeah. of life. Yeah. So, do you want to go? Oh, yeah. Yep, that's always been the, like, bane of the existence of a red deck. Yeah. The goblins play interesting. Just because they're not, it's not like an aggro deck. I was going to say, it seems like, like, you have more reach with this than you would have in, like, a, just a traditional, like, red burn style deck. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like it a lot more than anything else I've played in red. And I, I love red. It's my favorite color in the, in the game. Ah, makes sense. Yeah. Now I understand. <laughs> it's like, no wonder you're so bad at the game. Uh, so, uh, I enjoy, like, I enjoy playing, like, mono red and, and modern stuff like that. Yeah. Burn variants. Um, there is some, you know, quite a bit of thought that goes into it, because it's like, it becomes a, when do you do this? How do you do that? Yeah. You know? play like an RDW style deck it's literally just uh, play creature turn creature sideways yep uh, I'm gonna keep um, I will try this as well all right uh, just realized I probably shouldn't but we'll see and I don't mind a game three so yeah well there's probably gonna be a game three <laughs> I'm gonna drop mountain and pass yeah now I almost guarantee it go ahead all right, mountain, horde master, pass. Mm -hmm. <sighs> this is bad. Um, this is really bad. I thought this was a different land. <laughs> Play this on white. Oh, no. Go. Okay. Yep. Yeah. It's free real estate. <laughs> yeah. Now, now you get it. Yeah. Oh, look, I'm staying this. This base blue deck that has no blue mana. Yeah. Two. Is it two? 18. Your go. Come on. Son of a... Uh, move to discard. <laughs> discard collecting company. Pass. I can't believe that I even... Like, I just, like, snap keep that too because I thought that that was the different... Like, I thought that was the blue green land. Goblin ringleader. Mm -hmm. Reveal top four cards. Yep. Yeah, I know that card. Oh my it's from god! Back in my day. Oh my god! Nice. Yo, that's what we like nice. to see. I love it. Yep, it just goes bottom. Does that say random? No, it should it just, just be bottom. bottom of your Whatever. Yeah, so it should be a random order. Or, uh, it, it, it's your choice. Yeah. I mean, it's easy to me. Yeah. Not right. random order. Yep. So this is a 4-4. Four, four. This is 3. And this is 2. So, so nine. 7. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, my bad. Bad math. All right. Your go. Come on. That is not. Okay, we'll go to the next game. Oh, no. 
Yeah, I also have a gameplay like no no lie. So that was my graveyard. That was my draw and I drew oh. three collecting companies. So I was like, okay, well I guess if I can hit some lands at least if they're not blue lands. Um, that Yikes. did not uh, that did not go over very well. That's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm looking at. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. One thing I've been wondering about is if it's even worth playing Graph Diggers against Collected Company. Oh, it feels kind of like a waste. It's like... So you're one card for one card. Yeah. And the question is, do I board them out? Yeah. It's like, what do I board out to put that in? Like, that's why I don't know if it's worth it. Well, the question is, do I board out the Collected Company? If I board out the Collected Companies... What oh, is yeah, it doesn't do anything do. anymore. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, that's, yeah. that's another thing. And there is an argument uh, playing against an aggro deck to like trim some number. Um, yeah. Just because you want to get lower to the ground to be able to block and then have that late game, that sort of thing. But yeah, I think it's fine if you're bringing one in, um, potentially two. But if you're that if you're that worried about. <laughs> yeah, like your creatures aren't like huge, but if you like bring in a couple lords, it's pretty rough. Yeah, yeah, and and I get that, but then there's also the potential to just not hit anything. Yeah, relevant too, right? Like exactly. Yeah, um, I have whiffed on a company. So oh yeah, like, <laughs> that happens. Well, I've never whiffed on any cards. Oh, definitely not. Yeah, so it's a, uh, I don't know. The, uh, there's also, I would think it with that deck specifically, there's probably better, maybe not answers to collecting company, but better things that are, or cards that are more versatile against the entire deck. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, to yeah. where it just might not matter. Yeah. Because um, if you can make the card irrelevant in another way, yeah. then you're fine. Yeah. If I can match your creatures, which is definitely possible in this right. deck, that it, right. that's why I don't know if it's that big of a deal to put it in. Yeah, you're like further along your game plan instead of going yeah. for the like more mid range late game style. Yeah. Then then you're okay. If you put enough pressure on, like what does me playing Coco actually like it gains me two bodies, potentially gains me two bodies, right? But at the same time like if you're attacking with three five fives or four you know three threes or, or three fours or four fours or whatever like yeah what am i doing to play collective company like i'm playing to block yeah, exactly. essentially you yeah. know um, so yeah i don't know there's also the whole like play draw thing yeah like on the play i don't know that you would ever want it on the draw that may be the time where you may want you know what i mean like, yeah. just because you're you're a turn behind um, but that starts delving into the whole like deep thinking process of what do you want to do, but then what do you, what do you cut? Yeah. Like, you cut your game plan down, trim it by some number and put yourself even farther behind. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I've thought about a lot is those kind of things. I don't know. Sideboarding is a whole different, I don't know. Like I was talking to my friend that plays like in tournaments, actually yeah, Carl Lando or Audio Lando. Okay. Yeah, and he plays in, like, 5Ks, and he's mm -hmm. in Salt Lake, so, yep. like, it's very competitive out there. And he said sideboarding is by far the most important thing. Oh, oh yeah. so I just dropped a card by You're accident. Fine. I don't know which uh, way. That way. Okay. You're Sorry. Fine. You're fine. <laughs> um, yeah, so, like, there's definitely, like, deck building, you know, is an important thing, right? Knowing what cards need to play with each other and go into things, and you can find a lot of that stuff. But, like, there's a reason people make sideboard guides because that, like, knowing what you need to do against specific decks, and yeah. you can put it down however you want. Like, I will pick it up <laughs> and put it my way. I, I turned it around for you. I'm also You're making sure I didn't lose nothing on the ground, so... And the, I guess the, the biggest thing that comes to like the whole sideboarding aspect of it is that you need to know the like the meta game and the pool yeah enough to actually know what to sideboard in, that yep. sort of thing. So, all right, we're gonna try this. I'm I'm good with my hand, so okay. It's probably uh, not what you want to hear. <laughs> Botanical skankdom, Muslim. Is that a tap one or no? It's the fast land. Oh, got it. So, enters the battlefield tapped unless I control two or fewer other lands. Oh, neat. 
Cool. Yes. All right. Uh, mountain tap. Firebrand kill. Firebrand kill it. Yeah. So you have to sacrifice yep. your dude. Yeah. Okay, I guess. All right, your go. Temple Guard. Pass. Battle Cry. Battle Cry yes. Gabo. Alright. Spectre Yeah, you can kill something, get something. Um, this is a blue land on the back side. I okay. Know, I know that one. <laughs> Good. <laughs> uh, I do know that. Uh, let's go with Supreme Phantom. Uh, combat. Yep. Two. That was Pass. a much closer game. That game too. I didn't. I drew a company, a company the last turn too. But yeah. Next we get three companies and Ford Master. Yeah. That's a three three. Yes. Yep. Yeah. That was a much slower start for me, and you actually. On a rending volley, that. I suppose. I'll allow Three. it. <laughs> you said I'll allow it, but I'll I don't know if I have anything to do with it. I wasn't sure. All right, your go. Because those white Let's play. Squid Courtyard and Spirit. Okay. Combat. One. Pass. Yeah, I mean, honestly, when you place the whole planeswalker going, that dies on the turn of the game. Yeah, let's do this. Hmm. Yeah, let's do this. Goblin Warchief? Mmm. Well, I guess we'll see if you've got it. Spellboy? Fair enough. Do you have another volley? Wish. <laughs> All right. I'll swing for three. What a 14. Here you go. Um, what? How about that? Combat. Three. 14 out. Yep. Pass. Just Bandit Lord. Um, are just stop playing <laughs> good cards. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, tap one Fireblade Charger. Mm -hmm. And I'll just swing at you for four. For four. Alright, I'll allow it. Alright, pass. And you sure. Draw card. Take my turn. Whether it's mass or or Dark. But like the big stuff Like even this stuff down. That's what I was trying to do, but Pathway blue. Okay. Uh Four? Three. Three. This is the Did you get the new um what's it called? It's the all right. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I use that. I don't have that in here, but that one was comment. I know what you're talking about. My attack, what is this? Four, eight. It's two just those? Yeah, I'm just going to attack with these. Right, your pet tactics trigger. Yep. I get a 1-1 one, one that's tapped and attacking, so that's actually 3-3 three, three right yep. now. Alright. 
Yep. Would you like to come in? I don't think there's a second other one. Can you did that? Wow! You had two mana. So I am so glad that that collected company hit this because it's literally, I'm going to play a Shackle Geist. Okay. And that literally hit five lands. That was a near whiff on that thing. Yeah. Uh, so what are you wow. tapping down? Oh, uh, I'm not tapping anything. Um. Because like, it's tapping something doesn't do any good. Can't block either. What's that? Can't yeah. block with it either. Um. If you have a tapping, it doesn't do. You know, like a tap one of those guys, it doesn't yeah. do anything. Yeah. Um. Other than like tap that guy, and then you can't fire something. But. Yeah. Uh. So it's. Eleven. Four. So it was like. Four four and a three three. Two four fours or no, oh sorry that's a three. three. Sorry yeah so that's still lethal. Um, but it's one less damage from last turn though. Isn't it? How so? Oh no you only attack with this guy last turn. Yeah yeah. Uh, okay that's wrong. So so like I'm left with one creature in I have to and I don't want to. Flash and around chains. Yep. Move blocks. Yep. Um, um, because the Realm Walker came out from the company. Um, which one are you giving Hexproof? Um, I will target the Rattle Chains. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. So you can respond and kill actually it. kill it, yes. Because that target goes on the stack. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Is that game? game? Good game. Yeah. That was, uh, yeah, I had another land in there too. I could draw way too many lands in that game, but... Oh, that was actually one I practiced this matchup. <laughs> I, I got on Cockatrice with Carl. I'm like, we have to play, you have to play yeah. Band Spirits. Yeah, that was a very, uh, very unfortunate collected company. I wonder if there's one card deeper if it was an actual Mother Spirit. Yeah. Oh, oh and it would have been a great one, too. Yeah. Yep. Wow. I didn't want to tell you, but I can pump them all. Oh.